hello and welcome to the stream. Um, today we're going to be kind of continuing what we did before, uh, your mama. We're going to continue uh, saying that R sucks and uh, that we're going to go ahead with Julia instead. Um, so I think yesterday we've gotten as far as creating a directory, of course. Uh, is that the only thing I created? A readme? Oops. <laughs> I didn't get very far on it, obviously. Um, and of course our goal is to um, is to eventually find an interpolation function for Mars's declination, uh, and ultimately actually find an interpolation function for all the planets, right ascension and declination. There's a special issue with right ascension we'll be looking at, and the idea behind that is so we can create an app that will plot um, these planets on an ecliptic map um, that I plan to create in JavaScript. So it's, it's quite a bit, we're quite nested, uh, but, uh, but I really do like math and Julia, so I'm, I'm happy to be this nested at this point. Okay, so let's go ahead and run Julia, which I think... No, we can do that this now, because... What? Uh, that's not good. Um, kind of sworn I copied it to bin Julia. Well, this is not good at all. Um, I mean, I could go to root build, but that didn't... Yep, didn't think that would work. Alright, let me pseudo sue here real quick and go to root. And I could have sworn I... Help, help, I'm being oppressed. Um, <coughs> I don't think the root directory is actually mounted on uh, something else, so... Oh, fudge. That is the problem. Damn it. Okay, here's the problem. I installed something on this VM, uh, but because it's on the VM and not on my, um, on my um, local machine, uh, and I don't, and I don't freeze the state of the VM after I stream, uh, it is lost. So that is kind of ugly. Well, it's actually very ugly. So that kind of sucks. Um, I will go ahead and make a note to start, um, freezing the machine after I install something, or maybe just in general. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but, but apparently, um, every so often it is necessary. Fortunately... Um, user downloads is, um, is, uh, kept on the local drive, so if I hadn't erased it, if I hadn't moved it, that would have worked too. Yeah, this is, this is a massive fuck up. Okay. That, that was really bad. So actually, I don't even know if there's a way to get that state back, because, uh, um, I do not think VM Manager actually, um, Oh, you know what? Actually, every time I restart, um, it does give me an option to, to make a snapshot of the state before I restore a previous state. Uh, clearly, I should have done that this time. But I didn't, so I'm an idiot. Alright, let's see if we can find Julia again. Oh, Julia. Let me see if it's somewhere in my, um, in my shared directory that I mount over here um, and I don't think it is though so kind of sucks oh wait 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 okay there is a dot Julia directory that got created oh that should make things really really ugly um okay so there is a dot Julia directory that got created because um, because Julia got created. I'm going to have to re-download and reinstall it. Sorry, guys. Um, I feel really bad. And even this comes up the same, because the uh, home directory that this uh, uses for bookmarks and stuff is on the local drive. So we're going to, once again, download it. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, x86 64-bit. Uh, not ARM. Not FreeSB. FreeSB? FreeBSD. I'm tempted to build it from source, um, but I'm not tempted enough to actually do it. So, there we go. And now it's going to take for... Oh, that's not too bad, actually. This time I'm going to copy it over just in case I fuck up again um, and forget to save the state. Another option would be... Well, actually, another option would not be 
uh, to put root as on the mounted drive as well because the problem is I'm going to put this all in bin uh, or very close to be putting all in bin and that is definitely not backed up okay rot root build copy tilde user downloads julia dot here tar xvfs I don't even know why I need the z it, it, the modern versions of tar are smart enough to do this okay I think all I need to do is copy bin star to slash bin. Okay, copy etc. Julia, copy minus RP, etc. Julia, I think this is correct. I hope I did that right. There we go. Yeah, I did. Okay. Um. slash user which should create user include actually shit that the fact that that worked is probably a bad thing oh but they put everything in inside of a subdirectory so it is okay but that probably should have been um, uh, copy slash copy lib copy minus rp lib star into slash lib uh, that's the way I should have done it. Copy minus R lib exec star. Okay. Oh, come on. There must be a fucking lib directory here somewhere. Lib exec. There we go. And then copy this, share everything in share, which I think is just, yeah. Uh, user local share. Okay. So that didn't take as long as I thought. Still won't work, obviously, but you know, we're getting there. Oh. Uh oh. Badness has occurred. I think I know what the badness is. Um, I cannot use the dot Julia that I had built because it is, man, it's big. Because I don't, I have, I have to reload the packages and stuff, which don't get installed. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, but let's see if we can fix this problem, and then I'll pretend like I know what I'm talking about. Really? Okay, this might be an issue with, um, with it being on a mounted drive. So let me just do a remove RF from the other machine, which worked instantly. And now we can do our nice... At some point, we might want to move Julia into a subdirectory. Okay. I am not happy with that. Okay, what didn't I copy over then? Uh, let's see. Julia, that should be fine. Is it libexec that it's unhappy with? That's 7z. That really doesn't look like the error here. All right, let us pray, no, uh, let us cabbage, no, uh, let's see what this area looks like. Um, I'm going to try to limit it to Julia, um, 10 results, okay, so this, at least other people have had this issue, but I didn't have it yesterday, no, here we go, um, Um, okay. User lib 64. Okay, I don't know if you know if I have, I should have an LD library path. And lib 64 should be where lib cholmod, which sounds like a word that I probably can't say on stream even though, uh, well, it's Cholo, but we, it was not used defensively when I was growing up. Okay. Could not load library lib sweet sparse wrapper. And, and the kind of bad thing about this is I'm not even sure this is important. Uh, and I'm pretty sure we didn't see it yesterday. I could go look at the tapes, which is, of course, the electronic file. But, um... Oh, God. 
Terrible, terrible. Let's see if it got fixed. Um, okay. It's good, good to install the... Um, Okay, so maybe it's complaining that it has the wrong lib cholo chol mod. I've got to be careful. Um, okay. okay, so maybe I fucked that up. Uh, so do I have a minus L lib? Oh, here's why. Because I get the feeling all of these need to be in dash lib, not in dash lib Julia. Let's see if we can fix this. First of all, let's make sure it is what it is. I'm going to try the solution somebody else suggested, which is um, we're going to append to this variable um, lib64julia because that is where I'm keeping my directories and what's my convention is not to put it in ending slash. Yeah. Um, I can't believe that worked, but it did. Okay, now let's try it. Let me do a rehash to make sure we're not... Okay, that didn't help. Okay, the only thing I can think of is it doesn't like the uh, troll mod that I have in... Um, let's take a look here. Nope, do not display that. Uh, what are we looking at? Lib, CHO. Well, I don't have one there. Uh, I have a lot of libra libra libraries. I have a lot of libraries there, but that is not one of them. So maybe I can just move it up a level, but that's just bad design. Come on, really? can do this, it shouldn't break anything. That is a terrible way to fix this problem. It probably won't even work, actually. Okay, let me um, source t r the T-Shark so we can get a um, clean LD library path. Okay, good. Okay, so the thing is it's unhappy about is it wants a symbol called AMD printf. And for whatever reasons, the library that it has loaded is not giving it that. So let's see if there's a... <coughs> excuse me. Uh, lib amd. Hopefully this won't overwrite anything. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, so I'm probably just making things worse. Lib sweet sparse. So let's see if that's another one that it needs. This is... I'm actually tempted to... Okay, wait a minute. Um, this one I'm actually tempted to not build it and go back to the... Oh, here we are. Lib sweet sparse. So I think maybe all of this probably belonged in lib. That's not what I meant to do. Okay. Hmm. Is there one called... Well, no, I did all of them, right? So, All right, fuck it. This is a bad idea. Remember, kids, do not do this at home. No, I don't want to overwrite that one. I don't want to overwrite that one. No, 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 no. Maybe I do want to overwrite these. Okay, so that... I pretty much copied everything you want in there, you piece of shit. Yeah. Now, there is a clever way to do... I mean, I've not done this in ages, so please don't... Um, please do not judge me, or please do judge me. I don't care. 
NM, sh not New Mexico, uh, should give me a list of symbols. Well, okay, there aren't any. Okay, so maybe my, my knowledge is, is bad. It might be that only works with .a files. Okay. So I think, is, I think that the problem we're having is maybe I do need to copy over the um, the mod for AMD or something. Maybe that's the one that, uh, although I think I did that, right? It's like, uh, libamd and lib, libamd. Yeah, I think I think I literally copied it from here, so. Uh, let's push out one sum here. The ownership is kind of weird, but that's only, okay. Oh. Okay. And, and that actually makes me think that when I did a um, copy minus RP, that was not a great idea. Um, so I so the problem is there's got stuff in bin now that doesn't belong to that doesn't belong to root because I did say oh well that belongs to root that's fine. Um, is it an Etsy? Is it an include? Yeah. So I do need to do a uh, chown minus r root Etsy Julia. That should not really be the problem though. Um, now I'm pretty sure I said user include here instead of just okay. Um, what was it? User share libx was in a funky place. Is it user libx? Oh, it is. Okay. And then probably I don't share doesn't really care, but let's just do it anyway. Now this will still fail, but it's wasted some time, so I'm I'm, ha I'm happy. Um, it's wasted a lot of time actually. Apparently, user share has a lot of crap in it. All right. Mm-hmm. Not cool. I know I did this right yesterday, so I'm trying to figure out... I guess I could actually literally look at the tape of what I did yesterday and see what I did differently here. Um, or... Or... Uh, I'm going to have to change this. Um, all plus read execute dot. So I should be able to do I probably won't be able to do this now. Um, bad idea. Also bad idea. But now if I can run it from here. Oh, and for directories I want to do actually. Uh, no, wait, 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 wait. This should work. Oh, fuck. Did I fuck that up? Nice. I put it in the wrong place. But anyway. Um, bin Julia. What does this do? Okay. Now, what if I actually go into that directory? And say bin Julia. Okay, now that kind of... Kind of... Um, okay. What if I run it as root? Oh. Interesting. So why does it run it? I don't want to do pseudo Julia, which probably might work. Um, if it does, it means it's a permissions issue. Yep, it is a permissions issue. Okay. So let's, and it's got to be a permissions issue of one of these. So let's take a look at the hell's going on here. Um, link, link, link. This, these all look good. Probably. Um, we don't necessarily want to give everyone write permission, but everyone should have read permission. On oh, is it under oh oh oh? This might be it. Um, there might be some permissions issues. There it doesn't look like there are, but. Um. Okay. Uh, things I'm going to regret doing. Now, let's see if we can run Julia. Julia. 
think I've got your number. Okay. Um, so what else do we have that we... It is Pomodoro time, but it's the first one, so we're going to skip it. Okay, so what else do we do we need here? I think maybe... But see, Etsy Julia should not be... But whatever, you know, I don't care. Um, and I think maybe user libx is maybe the... In fact, I'm so sure it is. I'm going to do an ls minus l on it. Because uh, I get the feeling that might be where I... Oh, well, shit. Pseudo probably should not be globally executable. I mean, I'm going to make it that, but... But probably not a great idea. Let me see if I can find the problem. Copy JD key links. Let's see if Julia has a thing to say here. AMD has a thing. Okay. All right, this is bad. Don't do this. I might actually have to restore this because I'm screwing it up so much. Um, um, so let's go back to root Julia and see what else is. Uh, uh, bin? That should not be an issue. Include, user include. Again, that really shouldn't be an issue. User share. Okay. Okay. And yet. Okay. The only thing I think can think of is maybe it recreated this. Oh. That's kind of a useful thing to have. If it existed. Maybe it's because I created a Julia directory when things were bad, it's not going to work. Okay, fuck it. Alright, we're going to use the strace command, because I'm now, now kind of peeved, uh, to see what happens when I start Julia and where the permission problem is. Uh, this probably won't work as is, but let's see. So, there we go. All right, so what we're looking for here is a permission problem. Uh, denied. Man, I wish I knew, wh I knew what I was doing. Um, protected read, protected read. Uh, read, 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 read. The Julia, blah, blah, blah. No such file or directory, which is actually not, is okay, because clearly it exists. The problem is, um, There's going to be somewhere a permission problem. Um, gee willikers, I knew how to read this output. Uh, read only or, or closed execute. Deny map deny. There should be a point where we say basically an open, um, and you get not a uh, not a not a file descriptor, but an error message after it. Um, a failed open, basically. So. Let's see if we can do a better job of finding that. Uh, open, open. Okay, but this is actually okay because we don't expect uh, f no such file directory is an acceptable error. Uh, no, such file, no such file directory. The non existence is not the issue. Uh, we're looking for something that basically says, yeah, that it exists, but we're not going to let you look at it. Um. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do f minus v. So if we, there is this. Now the problem here might be that the permission error might end up actually giving you this error also, which means this is not helpful. But okay, so these are all the ones where it actually did successfully open. Good stuff. Hmm. Ten, eleven, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I mean, one really ugly way to do this would now be run it under sudo or as root and compare the two s. Um, um, the result of open should be the file handle, right? So I mean, it's if it's an, if it's anything other than minus one or whatever, it's it's fine, right? Well, okay. I am obsessed now. So I'm going to do this. This is like a terrible idea. Okay. So now we can do a diff. Unfortunately, the problem is it's, they're going to be very different. I think. Yeah. 
And the problem is they're going to be insanely different from each other. Um, but maybe we can come up with something here. Um, Oh, you know, another thing to check might be... I mean, these should be the same. Or are they? Oh, hello. Ooh. So is it possible that one of these things is overwriting something it shouldn't be overwriting? Um... This is a terrible idea. They would don't do this. Okay, cool. Still didn't work. Wait. And what the hell? Did this actually go through? Of course it didn't go through. Unset N. I hate my fucking life. Alright, I need to make a note of that. Not that I hate my life. I already know that. Um, and today's the 2nd of June, actually. Um... Let's make this note like this. Uh, unset and LD library path allows me to run Julia, but setting default LD library path does not. What is breaking? And obviously, it's one of the things in LD library path, so. I am, like, fucking obsessed. So, uh, that is going to be in tilde.tshark. Actually, it might not be. Um, actually it is. Okay. And this is going to be LD library path. Okay, so what we're going to do here... These are read in order, and it's quite possible that dash slash lib... Okay, okay, let's see. Uh... So slash lib actually may need to come before user local lib or something. That's that might be the issue. Um, so yes, I am going to take uh, an insane amount of time to solve this problem. Okay, uh, so if we just set it to, well, let's set it to the whole thing so it fails, and then move lib to the front. See what that does. Okay. And now, what if we just put it over here, which is kind of seems like more where it belongs. Didn't like it. Okay. Um, maybe user lib should come before user local lib. No. Okay. All right. Which of you bitches is screwing things up? Oh. If this is true, I'm going to be really pissed. Fucking hell! Lib has to beat lib64. God damn it. That is fucking annoying. Uh... Did I did I download the wrong version of it? I could have sworn I downloaded the version that was 64 bit, right? I mean, where's my root directory? Um, I yeah, that is x86 64, not x86 32. Anyway, now that it's working, and I'm happy, now we can begin. Isn't that wonderful? All right. All right, here we go. Um, uh, let's go ahead and look at the uh, Julia readme. And we were doing some fun stuff like this. Yeah, and let's go ahead and import the Mars data. It is going to come in as a data... Because all my packages got installed. Yay. 
and I forget which ones I installed because I uh, I'm an idiot. Um, but I think we want at least these four. And if I'm smart, I should be able to do. Nope. You know what? I'm not going to. I could do them all at once. But so import package, which, which will take. And I remember this took forever. So hang on. Uh. Oh. Yeah. Once again, the problem here is even though it exists, I haven't added it. So you actually have to say, it, I mean, it already exists. Um. So I don't think I have to. Wait a minute. That's weird. Import can't do that. This shouldn't work because. Okay. Relax. I don't know if I need to say Julia there, but. Okay. Um. I might have messed with it. Um, um, okay, so is this bullshit in user local Julia? Local, what, wait, 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 what the fuck? I don't have a user local Julia. This did not happen last time. Okay. So I've somehow really screwed this up. Now, was there a special way to add package that I'm not remembering? Alright. Uh, we should be able to figure this out. So from here, we're looking for the package called package. So I'm just going to say, show me anything that has this in it. Um, share Julia. And I guess it probably knows how to get down uh, to where it needs to be. So I think I put this in user share Julia. Oh, I put it in user local share Julia, didn't I? Yay. Um, in fact, is that the only thing in user local share? Fuck, hang on. Badness, if that is true. Okay. Whew. Again, this is not the right way to do things. I'm going to move it from user local share to just user share. Okay. Now. Still won't work. Oh, that worked. Haha, -ha, that's what I meant. I meant it will work. Okay. Now to add the plots, this is going to take a while, unfortunately. Um, and there's really nothing I can do. And if there's someone in the audience who wants to chat, let me know. Doesn't appear to be, though. Uh, so I will just uh, whistle pointlessly. And read some of my email, which is usually very dull. Um, my email is very dull today, in case you were wondering. Actually, while we're doing this, because uh, this is going to take a while, let's take a look at linear regression in Julia. Um, and also, let's get rid of all these fuck... Holy fuck. No one needs this many tabs. 60. No wonder the damn thing is slow. Okay, so now we're going to say Julia, linear... Let's call it curve fitting, actually, because that's actually a little bit more exciting. Well, will look at the example, but I get the feeling we can... Um, okay. This is not a problem. This is actually what's supposed to happen, so we're fine. We will come back on this, and I guess because I want to do this sort of in the background now, we will go ahead and do this. And I realize I've already installed plots, and it's not going to reinstall it, but it just, it's just there, so it's... Uh, 
it's a convenient thing to do in case I somehow fuck this up again. Which, you know, you never know, I might. A voice from beyond. Oh. Okay. Never mind, that was boring. Okay, so let's look at this curve fitting example. Uh, that's not what we want. So that's not what I want. Um, let's look for curve fitting tutorial. This does not look like it's going to be a good tutorial, but let's see. We okay. Between independent variable xi and dependent variable is basically it's a um, is a nonlinear. Ooh, shiny. Uh, <laughs> um. Parameter vector gamma. I don't even know if that's a gamma. I'm gonna search Google for that. Oh, it is gamma. Okay. Um, okay. So this is probably a little bit too much. Let's go to introduction to nonlinear regression. Oh no, this is the introduction. That's always bad. Because I don't know what these words, parameter vector, don't know what that means. I uh, don't know, that could be uh, meaningful. Um, so maybe we need to go back quite a bit here. By ta That's a Y there, Taylor expansion. Okay, way too much, uh, way too deep for me. And let's see how we're doing here. Okay, good, we've done that. I hope to hell all of these things are just, you know, Hey, how's it going? Stuff not not warnings. Um, okay, I don't know. Did that work? I'm gonna try import data frames, and if that works, I, I guess it. This is not looking good. Yeah, it's not looking good at all. But that that part's looking okay. Uh, I really don't want to do these one at a time, but I may have to at this rate. I don't know why this didn't cause me this many headaches yesterday. Maybe I just copied stuff into the wrong places. That's what I wanted. That's much better. Now let's add the GLM package, whatever the hell that is. Um, again, this looks fine. Um, did I actually have errors in the plots one last time or something? Maybe they thought there was an error in plots, so it didn't continue on to the other ones, which is not great behavior, um, but it's tolerable behavior. So apparently I'm going to have to watch this. Um, slowly, uh, slowly watch. Whoa! Okay, that one, that one did not look good. Um, oh. Hmm. So why is it not actually... And Curl should be able to do that. Um... None of this happened yesterday. Um... Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Not good. Not good at all. Um. I 
I do have a copy of yesterday's stream that I can look at. Um, but this is insane. I mean, can I? How do I turn off? Uh, I mean, Pomodoro time. I'm going to take it this time. Back in two and two. Almost back. Okay, and we're back. So this is not looking good at all. Um, I think what I'm going to have to do is basically restore the machine to the state it ended at uh, a long time ago, and then do whatever the hell it is I did yesterday to build Julia. Because... Um, I think I've screwed up the state of this machine enough that I do not want to continue using it. So, um, I'm going to turn off the video signal. I'm going to keep talking to you guys. Not because I need to, because I'm just lonely. Okay, so I'm going to see what we can do with this. I'm going to try restoring this. Um, oh. So in order to restore this... Okay, so I need to sort of... Um, I'm going to take a snapshot of this um, state the way it is right now. And uh, you can't see what's happening, I know. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, shut it down and bring up um, bring up the uh, other, other machine. The machine state as it was saved earlier. And uh, then we will resume. Very, very ugly looking. And then I'll have to look at yesterday's... Um, much as I hate to look at my own streams, I'll have to look at yesterday's streams. So we are about uh, some percentage of the way. 32% of the way from saving. This is going to be very, very dull. If you want to talk to me in chat, go ahead. Although since I am doing chat on the um, on the VM, uh, I actually may not be able to see it. So really, 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 really bad. Um, so really all we can do is hope that this... Uh, this, uh, wow. I have three reminders pop up at once. And I'm all deferring them by one hour so they will pop up again at once in about an hour. So, come on, baby needs a new pair of shoes. I don't even know what that means in this context. Um, 52%, this is going to take a while. Um, so, we can't even really look at anything. So, the idea is going to be we're going to be breaking up this uh, list into pieces and then approximate each piece with a polynomial until we're within... Um, and this is actually a good question. We have 262,144 pixels across in the final image. Uh, so we want to be within, um, I think that's actually, the, that's 2 to the sum power. Um, it is 2 to the 
I wish I knew how to do math. I'm, I know you can't see what I'm doing. We're, we're totally off. It's 2 to the 18th power. Um, and we actually want an accuracy of 2 to the 19th power because we want to be within the half pixel, at least rounded over. So we need to be within 0 .00, 0 0.0007 degrees. That is the kind of accuracy we're looking for. Okay. Still backing up. The backup percentage now is... Six, let me go ahead and bring this over here so I can look at it. Doesn't make it any faster. 68% uh, says about one minute remaining, and unfortunately, like many, um, like many um, programs that say what they're doing and give you a percentage, you know, tell you X seconds left to uh, whatever, usually doesn't work. I mean, usually is not accurate in giving me a time estimate of how long it's going to take to finish the task. Uh, 48 seconds, and I'm pretty sure. Uh, that is not, um, that is not what the, um, it wasn't a 10 second gap between when it said 58 seconds and when it said 48 seconds. Uh, but it is getting closer and closer to doing what it needs to do. Um, this is going to be, f this is going to be, like, very ugly here. What's going to happen is, um, I'm going to bring up the machine in its previous state. Then I'm going to look at what I did yesterday, which is cringe. Um, but but I, and I won't be showing it to you. I won't be doing it on VLC. I could do it on VLC. I could even do it through the browser. But that's going to be insanely slow. Instead, I'm going to just try to replicate what I did yesterday um, on the on the VM. Okay. And so that took up some time, and now it is... 26 seconds remaining, so I'm pretty sure that wasn't 22 seconds of time there. Uh, but, you know. Um, whatever. Um, okay. Um, so, uh, I can't even see the chat right now, so uh, I'll just babble incoherently for a while. Um, which is what I've done most of my life. It's about 12.47 p.m. here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, my machine has been up for not enough time. My clock is pretty accurate. The sun is 76 degrees high in the sky. <coughs> and the sun has a corona, and maybe I do as well. Uh, sunrise this morning was at 5.52 a.m. The sun will be setting at about 8.15 p.m. Uh, civil twilight began at 5.23 a.m., and uh, dusk or civil twilight will be ending at 8.45 p.m. Okay, how much... Okay, that I think worked. Okay, good. I think we are now ready to do this. You can't see what I'm doing. I'm going to shut down the machine. Um, unfortunately, the recovery to the next... Um, the recovery is also going to take a while. So let's wait till it shuts down. It's still shutting down. Do you love me now that I can shut down machines? Probably not. No, no. Watch me nothing. Okay, it's taking a while to shut down, apparently, because it doesn't like me. Powering off. You can't see that. Okay, good deal. So I'm now going to restore the state. Wait, what? There we go. I'm going to restore the state before um, all this ba today's badness happened. So this is a time warp, but it's not a great time warp because I really should have saved it yesterday. Okay, so now as this machine comes up, I'm going to go ahead and bring up my... Again, this is personal. You're not going to see it. So... So it's not going to be very helpful to you. Um, but I'm going to bring up yesterday's stream. And see what the hell I did. And probably not going to... It was a four-hour stream. So, I mean, honestly... Um, it's going to be a pain in the ass for me to find. I'm going to go ahead and mute it. Because I don't... Listening to myself is even worse. So let's just... I'm going to go through it. You're not going to see anything. You're going to be unhappy. I'm unhappy already. Um, God, how does anyone watch my streams? They're so fucking dull. Um, fortunately, it looks like I spent some of the stream not even looking at before I did anything with Julia. Okay, the machine is being restored. And this is going to take a little while because I have to do some other magical stuff. Okay, blah, blah, blah. So, as much as 32 minutes into the stream, I am still looking at R. 
Um, I guess I could go faster than what I'm doing now. Let me let me jump ahead a minute at a time. There we go. I was jumping ahead ten seconds at a time, which is its sort of a default. Um, fitting polynomial regression in R. Da -da -da -da. Oh, wow, I'm in two hours from yesterday, and I apparently didn't touch Julia yet. Okay. All right, machine's still in the process of coming up. Okay, da 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 da. Oh, oh, here we go. Um, so I confirmed Julia was open source at about two hours forty eight minutes into yesterday's stream. Okay, and then blah blah blah. Upcoming release. Did I download the wrong release? Uh, okay. So it was. No, I did. I did. Maybe I downloaded the wrong fucking release. So that could be the whole thing. But but let's let's wait. Um, so yesterday I downloaded the release that is um, that says um, long term release, and that might be my that might have been my downfall. That might have been my doom. But okay. So that could be the whole thing. Uh, actually, it'll still be in download, so I could I could check. Um, and the version here is one four two, which I think is the correct version, right? That is. Oh wait a minute. Long term support was one o five. I got one four two. Where the hell did that come from? Um. That that's weird. Okay, still waiting on the machine to come back up. The machine is at um, Yo Mama. Still at Yo Mama. Still at Yo Mama. Um, all right, screw it. I can't. I can't quite get to the window that tells me what it's at. Well, I mean, I can, but twenty percent. That's not good. Okay, so maybe I just got the wrong version. Although. I mean, it doesn't look like there is a 142 version. But this time, the long term support release, release. Um, I definitely want the long term support release. That's that's where we need to go with it. Um, so maybe I got the beta by mistake. I don't know. I think I already said that. I'm just trying to kill some more time until. Oh, there it is. The machine is almost back up. Okay, the machine is coming back up, and I soon, very soon, I'll be able to. Whoa! Doesn't look my password. There we go. Okay, machine is coming back up. The um, Emacs is coming back up. The Firefox is coming back up, and we are uh, just about to resume. Hey! I said restore session. There we go. And we're going to bring up all of our 10 billion, um... Oh, no, we're not, because I forgot. The uh, browser state is actually safe to disk, because it's mounted. Okay, I think we are ready to go. Let me make sure there's nothing horrible happening here. Um... Okay. Let me double check here. I know, I'm, I'm being paranoid. Whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Am I still streaming? No, I'm still streaming. Wow. That didn't go well. Um, yeah, I think we're ready to go. And there we go. I'm going to double check that I'm still streaming, because, I mean, that was some weird funky shit just happened. Um, I'm going to do it on other browsers so you won't see the screen and screen effect, which is cool but stupid. So according to this, um, oh god, I've got an echo. Alright, so I am streaming, obviously. Alrighty, so let's take a look at this now. Let's go back to download Julia and maybe figure out which one I meant to get. Um, if, hopefully that's just it. That's the only problem. Current stable release. That is the one I got. 
Oh, but hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm watching the old the old video to see where I'm. I might have actually gotten the other one. I did get Julia 105 last time, not Julia 14, which would probably explain. I mean, it'd be nice to get Julia 142, but if I'm gonna, you know, I mean, I really should be able to do that. But since I'm trying to replicate what I did yesterday and we had a lot of trouble not doing that, we are gonna go ahead and get the 64-bit binary for x86. Um, I am gonna create a sudo su window. I'm gonna make a build directory. I'm going to copy so so far I'm not seeing any issues now this might just go perfectly well because it's the right version okay all right so now let's take a look at which means I probably didn't have to change my LD library path either but probably doesn't matter okay so now I'm looking at what this is going on um, I'm trying to find where I did the copy commands. Okay. So I first figured out I could run it from, from the root directory, which is probably cool. Um, okay. Okay. Ah. Uh. Okay, and apparently I had actually created last time a... Oh, wow. Um, a Julia 1.05 directory. I, I deleted it because I wanted to do a reinstall. Um, so that's what's going on here. I'm watching yesterday's video at 25102 if for some godforsaken reason you're interested. Um, so I did a remove of all this bullshit. Wow. Is there a... Hang on. Is there a tilde ju Okay. I am going to have to... Oh, I don't need to sudo that. Because I'm reinstalling ju Julia. I do not want that directory there anymore. Um, and apparently it's going to take forever. It is on a mounted drive, but it still shouldn't take that long. Okay. Yep, and definitely looking at yesterday, it was definitely uh, 105. Okay. Yep. Let me go ahead and delete it. Um, let me go ahead and delete it from the other side where I know I can do that. And it's gone. Okay. So again, yesterday it looks like I first decided to just run it, um, run it directly from the directory. Um, and at some point I probably figured out that I needed to copy it. I was looking for install instructions. Yes, there we go. Um, and then, ah, uh, here we go. Copy bin Julia user bin, which is probably, n and then I tried to run it, and it said error while loading shared libraries. So the, the important commands here, which won't be in history because I didn't freeze the machine state. Um, so I think after this, it was pretty much, uh, I copied the bin directory to user bin. I'm going to take a little bit of a risk here um, and copy everything in bin. What? Oh, shit. No. <laughs> copy everything in this bin. Um, minus R, but not minus, but without pre uh, bin star to slash bin. So subdirectories, yes, uh, which probably has nothing to do here, but... Uh, but um, but pr preserving permissions is probably a bad idea. So, so copy lib Julia, blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to see what I did yesterday. Let's see. Copy. Okay. Come on, baby needs a new pair of shoes. So I copied bin Julia to slash bin. Okay, good. Copy. I did a copy minus RP of... Nope, stop. Um, 
think I can do this. Uh, Etsy, but I didn't put a star. Oh shit. Uh, star to slash Etsy. Not a problem. Well, I hope. Good. Okay, Pomodoro time, but I'm going to skip it this time because we had a lot of technical issues and I'd like to keep going. Uh, but I will take it next time. Okay, so I think now we're actually... Um, so I did that. Then I... Okay. I, I, I struggled a little bit here. Um, so I copied include, it turns out, to... Come on. Where did I do it? Uh, user include. Um, so let's do that. Okay. And then I copied. What else am I copying? And I checked that it worked, which it probably... Actually, I didn't check that it worked. God, I do a lot of stupid things. And I copied lib. Pretty sure to slash lib. Yeah. So copy minus r, lib star to slash lib. Good deal. I think we're almost done now. Um, share. Where did I put share? That might be the uh, user share. So that that's the thing I did differently, but of course I was using the wrong version anyway. So, so everything in share goes into user share. Um, there we go. And then I think that's it, actually. Yeah. So now, this better fucking work, and it does. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to stop watching yesterday's stream. And I should do a, a snapshot now, but I will at the, end of the, at the end of the stream. Hopefully nothing terrible happens between then and now. Okay, so now we can go back to... I need to keep a list of the... I need to do session storing on Emacs here, but... Not quite ready for that. Um, now we're going to do Julia read me. And so I should now be able to do import package without a problem. Booyah. And I should be able to do all of these without a problem. Um, and while we're doing that, we can now go back to uh, looking at shit for Julia. Julia, polynomial fitting. Um, oh, that's nice. Now the problem is here, it might be exact fitting, which is what we don't want. We want approximate fitting. Which means I might as well do a, um, you can never have too many packages, if you know what I mean. That sounds dirty. Oh, shit, no, polynomials. And I'm guessing you don't need to say PKG. I'm guessing that's optional. Okay. So we'll do that after we do the other stuff using... Okay. 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 Um, root finding is kind of nice. Okay. Fitting arbitrary data. Um, using polynomial interpretation, interpolation, <laughs> or a weighted least squares approximation. So this is actually not bad. Actually, that's really good. Um, because this is much, much cleaner than the R model. So, uh, nice. Oh, nice. And the default is to make a polynomial that fits at every single point, but is, of course, a very high degree. Um, what's the original data? Yeah, the original. Oh, man. Oh, perfect fit versus quadratic fit. Okay. Chebyshev call, uh, polynomials. These are the ones that NASA uses, and I'm kind of tempted to use them myself, although they're going to move to Hermite polynomials. Ooh. Um, which they might not have here. Right, let me check if they do. I don't know why NASA's decided to move to Hermite polynomials, but they have. I think. Okay. All looking much better. Um, so, so I guess the, um, at some point we'll have to move to actually separate, uh, files where we actually do stuff, but for right now I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable doing this once we get our, uh, loading going. 
I think one problem we went right into last time was um, whatever this is, it's not enough of an array um, that polynomials can deal with it. And, well, not polynomials, but, but whatever we were using cannot deal with it really that well. Um, wait, where do we go? It. Okay. Oh, I see. Just, f just for fun, though, they made up the function exponential to the minus, uh, what you know, minus n, and then they plotted that. That's cool. Uh, we will be. Yeah, this this looks very easy. Um, and I guess what we need to do here, by the way, is. Oh, we don't need to do a using because we're going to be using uh, the full paths to it. Man, that was not bad at all. Okay, and let me do polynomials real quick. Uh, this one we didn't install last time, so if this fails, it's it's a new kind of fail here. Something we really enjoy here. Um, so we're building. They see me building. They hating. I hope I can install easy. Wow, I really should not be seeing. Okay, and I really like the concept of the polynomial here. Yay! So now we can do this, and I guess it's not going to work because yes, no, that's not what. That's not why it's not supposed to work. Um, do I need to do an import CSV just to use it? Maybe. Um, so I'm under the impression that that would just import the variables in deeper. Oh, fuck. Okay, so I do need to import them, and not only that, it's going to be a pain in the ass about. Um, I think I can import more than one thing at a time, though. And hopefully if something's already imported, it won't take too much longer. So this, 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 this. Uh, and of course, package and CSV are already going to be in there. So yes, I forgot. This is going to—it has to compile each time. So this is a, a multi-step process that is hopefully, I think we observed yesterday, it was faster um, after the first time you do it because it, the first time does a little bit special stuff. Dun, dun, dun. Doesn't feel like the first time. Do, 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 do. It doesn't always feel like the first time. I think at one point I actually said something about how the first time is actually, for a lot of people, not that good. It's just kind of weird and awkward and whatever. Um, certainly not for me, of course. I, I was a stud. But, uh, but you know, that's it's. they are foreigners. <laughs> See, because the band... The, okay. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get these things compiled in. And um, and temp Mars isn't going to work, so let me, let me let me. I don't think we're going to have temp Mars. I very seriously doubt it. Um, oh, I need another window here. So let's actually go ahead and create temp Mars for them. Um, BC any dump two. And unfortunately, I really need to fix this. Uh, it take it has default options, so if you, you if you don't give it options. It defaults to stuff that you don't really want it to be default to. Any dump two start equals will date minus d. Again, we said let next year because this year this year is like insanely sucky. I mean, it's not even like it started out well. It started out with Corona, and we're not anywhere near better. I mean, not with not sort of Corona, but. Um, now, last time, because we did it for every minute, I'm going to do this at 199 so we do not get the first minute of next year. And yes, I realize that is insanely stupid. And do I need to put equals here? I think I do, actually. Um, do I? Crap, I forget how to put double arguments now. I think I think it is minus minus uh, string equal. And if it isn't, I'm going to feel stupid, but I can always redo it. Um... The ID of the object is, for, is Mars 499, and the frame is Eclipse J2000, because that is the frame of our reference point. Let's do a less here. Um, yeah, that looks good. 
And let's go to... I'll call it Mars 1, because it's not actually what we want. Do 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 do. Uh, 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 uh. Feels like the seventh time, which was better than the first time. Da 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 da. I should be banned from singing. I, well, actually, I think you can't really call that singing, so I might be safe there. Um. So this, I don't remember taking this long, but it is going to take a while. This is. 525,000 number, I forget, minutes in a year, and we are doing it for a whole year. Um, and then we're going to just suck out one of the variables. The Actually, I'm tempted now to not suck out one of the variables. Um, and just put a header line on it. Actually, let me see if I can do that. That's not good. Oh, because the first three lines are actually garbage. And I think this is gonna this is gonna break stuff. Oh. Oh, wrong file. Emacs is gonna complain. Okay, so we do not want this, we do not want that. We do want um Oh, I get the feeling I should not be doing this. Um, mm, no, I'm not going to do this. Uh, we're just going to do this, so uh, when we pull out our data, we won't have a, uh, a, a weird header at the top. So what we're looking for is uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six. This is the the right ascension. Eight. And for once, this should actually be without any ugliness. Unless I know what the hell I'm doing, which I don't. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, you know, that's what I said. Kind of. Okay. So I'm gonna be wrong about this. Um, Mars two dot temp. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, and now if we have finished with the Julia doing all yes, it has beautiful. So now I should be able to do a and it's now called Mars One, with Mars Two actually. Sorry, um, and I'll put a semicolon here because I do want to silence the output for sure this time. Do -do -do. And it didn't take that long last time. I mean, this is a VM, so it is slower, but it was actually pretty fast. Okay, let's describe Mars. What the hell? Why am I not getting completion? Uh, is there a describe? Oh, maybe there isn't a describe function. Um, summary of Mars. Not helpful. Um, there were some helpful functions here that I've now forgotten. Or have I? I have. Um... I think head Mars will do it. No. Because this is Julie, I think it's first Mars. No. Okay, I'm just going to risk doing the. Oh, shit. I always do that. I always forget that um, the. Um, that I shouldn't put the semicolon there. There we go. In fact, I think there was a... Was there an info? What is it? Mars? Summary Mars? Head Mars? First Mars? I could have sworn there was something else I did, like Info Mars? Uh, okay, Info is fine. Summary Mars. Um, okay. Um, let's do... This is the thing I had to do in... Um, in R that I didn't like. Okay. Um, okay. Not cool. Um, so can I do this? 
because that is the field that has the values in it. Okay, so it, it didn't really, so let's say names Mars, what it thinks the names are. There are no names. Okay, so can I do this, head Mars, uh, the second column? No. Let's just do this. Oh. Can I do length Mars? Okay, my reading of Mars here was not exactly fantastic. Not happy with it. Um, can I do type of? I don't know if that is a natural thing here. Oh, I can. Good. Should say data frame. Um, okay. Not happy. All right, let's talk about Julia data frames. Um, what did I put? Oh, data frames, one word. That's fine. Um, looks like I looked at this yesterday, but it might actually be still useful. Documentation. Blah blah blah. Fuck you. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. I needed a new he a no header there. That's probably why I'm getting fucked up. Um. Um, let's see. I could have sworn this. Mmm. I remember this doing more. Wait, was it CSV file? No, it's got to be CSV read, right? Yeah. Um, where is the no headers option? Can I do... No, this is it. This is all the documentation I get. Oh, same keyword arguments as CSV file. So maybe... Yeah, that's, that's not helpful. Column type options. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Missing strings, delimiters... Uh, come on, where's the word headers? Motherfucker. I might be confusing this with... Okay, good. Um, if file doesn't have column names, either provide them as a vector or set header equals zero, header equals false. Okay. That's probably what I wanted. Um... And even though false and zero are the same thing, I'll be a purist here and say header equals false. So this might make it look a little better, might make it look a little worse, I don't really know. Oh good, it's lowercase false in here just to make things confusing. So I probably just barely got to that yesterday because I, I don't remember looking at the data. Uh, let's see what Mars looks like now. Okay, I need to get rid of this Unicode bullshit somehow. Um, okay, so now I should be able to say things like Mars row. And this should be like the numbers 1 through 10. Or they should not be the numbers 1 through 10. I think column 1 did work last time. Oh, this is interesting. Is deprecated use column index instead? So it wants me to do something like I know I know it says to use okay. Oh 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 it wants me to use um this functionality. Uh which doesn't work. Oh is it just exclamation point? So again, I'm confusing R and um, and uh, Julia. So what's the, the length of this should be, of course. Yeah, there we go. Is there a zeroth column? Oh, man, I didn't like that. No, there probably isn't one. The row doesn't count. Okay. 
So this is the data Can we plot that? I think we should be able to plot that. I say that as though I know what I'm doing. Okay, Pomodoro time, back in two and two. And we are almost back. And we are back. Okay, this might not work because the plot, yeah, I need to do plot thought. Mmm, I did probably load it. Oh, it's plot uh, plot. Because, of course, that would be... Well, this is doing something. We should see that familiar curve that we saw in R last time. Um, or it should just hang forever. Either one's fine. Um, let's see. Let me check to make sure that nothing is... Yeah, nothing's really... Okay. I think maybe we didn't get this far in Julia, because it is, does seem to be taking longer to plot this data. And that is exactly what the data looks like. Very nice. Um, okay, so now... The question is, can we start doing some fitting with this data? Um, and just to be a little bit nicer, we're going to do this. We're going to go ahead and, um, we're going to go ahead and set just this one value to, uh, to, uh, so, so this should be a list. That is not what that should be. Um, but, God damn it. okay. All right, so now let's see if we can do the polynomial interpolation, um, which is not here. But is one second. Um, I really need to start bookmarking some of this shit. Okay, so what we have here is blah 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 blah. Fitting root finding, fitting arbitrary data. Okay. Oh. It's just fit. Okay, I'm going to try seeing if we can get away with just saying fit of just the Y values. Dex. Okay. So I, I think we actually have to say polynomials fit here. No, which is fine. 
Oh. No method matching fit CSV column float blah 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 blah. This should work actually be actually first bit. Let's see, first x5. And then the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, which we're gonna change, but again. Um Okay, so the column is not is it's not this the column from the CSV is not treated as an array or a list. So we do need to figure out what we're gonna do with data frames. Okay. Uh, read a CSV file. Oh, this is where we were looking at it last time. Um, this Copy calls equals true, but we don't have a header, so it's okay. Um, fine. Okay, okay, so this would be, these would be the columns, color, shape, and uh, clearly a bad tutorial because they're using the wrong spelling of color, but that's fine. Uh, convert from a matrix, insights about your data first. Show. Okay, and this, the data, by the way, the data frame is Mars. We, the, the dex is, uh, is just something inside of Mars. So let's look at this, first Mars. That's not what I expected, but I think it's the first columns. Okay, that was maybe show Mars. Um, Okay, describe. Wait, that, that describe was the thing I was trying to do earlier. And why do I not have a describe function? Mm. Okay, hang on. Is it in one of these stupid things? Oh, data frames described. Forever uh, Mars. I just said describe it. Um, that's interesting. The mean, median, max, good stuff. I really need to get rid of these. Um, I wonder. Shiny. So I really need to turn on UTF-8 in my screen RC. Um, and I'll make a note to do that. I'm not really sure how to do, I think it's not that hard, but. Um, I said UTC didn't, that's not what I meant. I meant what I just do? Not what I meant to do either. UTF-8. And so turning that on would be really useful. UTF-8. Um, so let me go ahead and make a note of that. Okay. Very, very, very nice, as Borat would say. Okay, good deal. It's variable symbol, mean, beautiful stuff here. Okay, um, returns the array of, oh, array of column names, which is different. I want the array of, um, yeah, so the, the row, the, the thing that just counts it doesn't really count as a, um, as a column. Returns an array of column types. Um, I think I know how big my, my data frame is, but what the hell? Yep, there it is. Um, da -da. Okay, so this, it won't quite work because we want to send the whole array to the polynomial fitter. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, copying, use, and can da, 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 da. combined. Um, edit data. 
delete, add an ID column. I'm trying to find one where it just says it sort of uh, turn it into an array. Convert columns, but this is just type conversions. Uh, and this is something that was really useful, which I looked at yesterday, which would help with the COVID data. Merge, join, copy, manage missing values. Aggregate was the thing we looked at yesterday. Um, pivot, unstack. It's all good shit, by the way. Uh, uh, uh. All right, hang on. Nope, not quite. HDF. Okay, so we actually need a very specific thing here. Uh, Julia, export data frame column to array or list or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Okay. I get the feeling this is deja vu. I think I've done this before. Um, now, why is there an exclamation point when I'm doing it? Well, this seems easy enough. Mars colon one. And I probably should have... Um, type of this should not be anything... There we fucking go. Let me save this to get, even though it's even though it's wrong. And let me also sip my beverage. <sighs> okay. So let's go ahead and change this now to um, this is now an array. And now, I still should be able to plot it. I don't know why I want to do that, but I will. Nice. Um, and I actually do need to change these values, but that's something we'll do later. Um, and now I should not be able to do, um, is it fit? It is just fit, isn't it? Um, this shouldn't work because I don't think it's going to automatically assume that the x values are 1 through... Ooh. Yeah. Um, it needs two arrays. So, okay. Well, create count array. Count equal... Oh, okay. So there are a range function. Do I see a range function? Oh, yeah, I do. Um... So I could do this the way I want to do it, but I'm not going to, because I think it's there's an easier call here. Start semicolon length if necessary, and then stop step equals one. So that that should be that very easy to understand there. Um, range one two length dex should not be difficult at all. At least one of length or step must be specified. Okay, I can, I can, I can dig that. Thought you would just assume the. Um, oh, can I do a pager? Um, let me look into that later. Uh, look into pager for yeah. Okay, but until then, we'll use our magic uh, screen binding. Um, oh, it has to be step equals. So it's a little bit ugly, actually. Um, you would think the defaults would be nicer, but yeah, whatever. I can deal with it. Yep. Okay, so length count. Length dex would be exactly the same, actually. Polynomials fit. And this should just work. Uh, no, that'll be a 100,000 degree polynomial. 525,000 degree polynomial. Let's not do that. Okay, and this... Nice. 
Now the question is, can I plot that? Um, can I use percentage? So that does. No. Oh, actually, okay, hang on. Plots, plot. This is definitely not going to work. It's going to work, isn't it? Not bad, actually. Um, so now, can I plot that against this? Um, count. Singular. Boy, that didn't like that. Okay, so now we need to learn about the things in Julia that will um, that will help us um, use that polynomial somehow. Um, plot the polynomial versus the data. Um, hang on, I'm still curious. What if I just said dex here? Do I still have that in the plot? Okay, so now it is doing that, but it's just plotting from... Um, yeah. What if I did this? I know, I'm being stupid. Oh, that's actually probably what I meant to do. Okay, so I can do this. Oh, actually, I actually haven't tried this. Okay, good. I can do that. Mm, yeah. Can I give this an array? That would be something. Count dex. No. Okay, which is fine, because I'm just guessing around anyway. Um, so let's see. Let's just see the... Um, what a third degree polynomial would look like. Still not ideal, actually. Um, now, of course, what I need to do is I need to change the, the, uh, the domain to negative one to one. Um, so I actually want... Now, I have this from, from, from R last time, and I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to give up that very nice um, formula that I got in R. Um, okay, how do we define functions in Julia? We did this yesterday, didn't we? I don't know. Um, yeah, actually, let's go ahead and look it up, because there's probably more than one way to do it. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay, so this is more typical of the way I would want to define a function. Um, do not use Unicode for your function names. Uh, function, I'm going to call it F because I'm such a lame-o. E N. And is it... Okay. Wow. There's not even a return here. Um, okay. Uh, so it's just going to be this. Um, that, I really don't like the lack of parentheses there. But let's see if it works. I didn't put a space there. Maybe it means a space between E and N, but that is kind of weird. Or maybe it means this is a... I don't really need those parentheses, but I mean, th they shouldn't hurt anything. Not allowed in F-E-N... Oh, come on, you're not... you're kidding me. 
Um, oh, 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 oh. Function. Oh, oh, oh. So there's two ways of doing it, and I'm kind of mixing and matching them. Uh, function space uh, fxy, the thingy, and then the word end. Hmm. Okay, Pomodoro time back in two and two. And we are almost back. And we are back. Still no one in chat, but I'm fine with that. Okay, so this did not work. Um, let's see if this works. Okay. So is it that I can't put parentheses around this, even though... Hmm... Okay, so I guess I cannot put parentheses around that. It's, they're not necessary here, but they're kind of ugly that you can't put them in if you want them. All right, so this is a function. Now, I'm pretty sure I cannot pass it uh, this. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure you actually have to pass it numbers. So this function, the first element, if there's 100 elements, will be mapped to minus 1. The 100th element will be mapped to plus 1, exactly as I want it. So now, if I apply f to count, is that going to do what I... Ooh. Do I want map? Okay. Aha! So I can say map f to count. Wait, what? Oh, fuck. Because... Right. Unfortunately, um... Yeah. Uh, because we, we need an n in there, basically. Um... Yes, so we actually need to apply it to the Ruby. Um, let's see. There might be an easier way to do this, actually. Um, minus one to one with a step length. It's going to be very close to like one over length dex. Um, it might be, I don't, I don't think this is correct, but let's try this. Okay. Um. Okay. I've been going for about an hour, 48 minutes. I'm probably going to keep it going for maybe up to two hours, then we'll call it. Unless I'm really getting into it. Now, let's see. What the fuck? Do I really have to do this to make these things floaters? You've got to be kidding me. Oh no, shit, 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 I know what's wrong. The last thing is not a... 
Well, this should be a one for one thing. Um, this has to be step equals. I still don't think this is going to work exactly, but I'm going to be very close to what I need. So count one and count minus one if it works. Damn it. They do are very picky about that. Um, so count, length count. That's one element too big, though. Um, because the length of Mars, no, dex, rather, is one less than that, yeah. Okay, so what I need to do is say 2 over length dex minus 1. I'm almost sure that's correct. I don't know why I say that it's not, but I mean, you know, whatever. Could be. Could be correct. Okay, so this will give us the correct length. Um, I don't think this is going to work. Yeah, count one, count length count. Booyah. So why is that good? So, ooh. I think that probably is comment. Yeah, good. Okay, so now we can do polynomials uh, fit count to dex at level 2. Not that I really care, but... Um, and maybe not suppress the result. Okay. That looks pretty nice. I could plot that function, but I don't ex exactly know how to... Um, Hang on. First of all, let's make this a fourth degree polynomial because I'm bored. Can I say... Hello, 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 someone's in the chat. Hello, 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 Betty. What do you mean breakthrough? Dude, I'm just doing this for fun. I don't want to break through. I'm still going. I'm using Julia now. I don't know if I was doing that yesterday. But I do like Julia a lot more. Um, so now the question is, could I, I'm almost sure this is not going to work. Hmm. Yeah, didn't quite do what I wanted. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Um... So actually, it's a good question is, let's call this just by T3. By the way, I've got my um, my Mountain Daylight Clock working again, so I'm going to, the temporary variable names will be in Mountain Daylight Time again. So what's kind of curious here is, what is T1347? Um, what can I do with it? I can co it. What does var do? Oh, the variable is x. Okay, that's kind of nice. Um, uh, I think there's got to be a way to convert a polynomial to a function. I probably did mean polynomials. Well, that's a very nice string that doesn't tell you anything about itself. Okay, but this should be oh, um, convert Julia polynomial to function. And that has to be like a triviality. Um, okay, I, oh, we're already looking at this page, weren't we? We are already here. Yeah. Okay. Right, other bases of polynomials. Um, I mean, it should be able to. It's a pretty powerful PC. Uh, but remember, it's running Linux, so the big game would have to be written in Linux. Um, but it should be able to do that, yeah. Okay. All right. Wow. Um... What does convert do? That sounds interesting. Hmm? 
I have no idea what all those. Sp I think I'm on an i7, but oh, okay. So you you are on an old machine, um, but honestly, I'm not. I know what I not when I got it. I knew what the hardware specs were. Uh, now I just know that it it does what I want most of the time. Some of the time, whatever. Convert. Um. Once again. Wow. Convert X to a value of type T. Okay. Wow. I don't know how much my my GPU consumes. It's a GeForce GE Force GTX. My computer has a power supply of 750 watts, but obviously the amount of power it consumes depends on what it's doing. So now I really get the feeling this is yeah. Uh, convert function. I don't even know that's gonna work. Yep, doesn't like that. Um let's see if we know what a function is. Okay, let's see if we know what this is. Oh, okay. Can I convert it to a lowercase function? No. That's just weird. Oh, that's the keyword function as opposed to the function type. So if it's a type of T, it's going to say polynomial. If it's a type of F, it's going to say first letter capitalized, no. What the hell? I defined F. That's not cool. Um, type of that? No. Okay. Well, we have a polynomial now. What can we do with it? Um. Well, let's see. Um, I guess the other thing we kind of want, well, no, we actually do want to be able to convert a polynomial to a function. Um, let me try something, though. Can I do plot plot of this thing from minus one to one? Okay, okay. So that is pretty good. Now, when you get a fitting function, apparently you do not get uh, the residuals out of this sucker. Um, cause it's actually pretty limited. What does this do? Nothing. Oh! That's not what I wanted. It's not going to do anything because it does not find. Um, can I call the function residuals? Can I call the function polynomial fit? Can I call the function polynomials? Nope, 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 nope. Residual. Okay, nope. Let's do apropos if residuals. Which can be money made by actors, but it is. Ooh. Stats base residuals. Redi residuals. Okay, let's see what this does. Yep, I probably need to load that. And that actually would be something useful to have, so let's do that. <laughs> that sounds like one of those things that probably um, probably gets loaded, like... Uh, is it stats? or st It's stats. I think it's plural. Um... So let's go ahead and add that. I realize we're re-adding polynomials, but that shouldn't have an effect. Should already know that it has polynomials. And I wonder if I should. Oh, here we go. Resolving package versions. Da 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 da. Oh, maybe we already had it. Did we? Oh well. It wasn't imported, but. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so I get the feeling stat space you have to use. Yeah, there aren't a lot of riots where I am. I, I, I am safe with them. Um, okay. That's going to be something different. Um, is a polynomial a natural function? I mean, I guess it's acting like one. Um, let's see if we can plot two things at once. Two girls, one cup. No. Two plots, one graph. Looks like we've got an entire tutorial page for this. Okay. Um, good. Um... Oh. Uh. Oh. That's kind of nice. Um. I. I don't like managing, and I. Don't really like football, so. And I don't like strategy games. Well, that's probably not true. Um, but also, the problem is, this, what I'm doing here, I, I can't always say it's better than playing games, but I, I, I kind of like it more than playing games. It's not, you know, um, it's math. I mean, I realize there's math in, in games like that, too, but, okay, so what I want to do here now... Uh, let's see. Okay, so let me let me just try doing this um, plot. That's not cool. Where'd it go? Oh, shiny. Did I not get rid of that earlier? Okay, it's kind of hard to. All right, I'm gonna have to go right up to it. Okay, so now what happens if I try to add a plot to it? I get the feeling it's not going to work, but... Um, I, I'm going to assume this is going to um, replace that plot. Yeah, okay, that's fine. But now, what if I did... Hey, there's no history here. That's not cool. I want my I want my freaking history. Where's my read line? Oh. That's not what I mean. Oh, there we go. Um what if I do this? Oh, shininess. I know, but it's it the the point is it's made up stats. This is real world stuff. Again, I'm not, I, I sound like I'm being obnoxious, and I am being obnoxious. Um, let me get rid of this, though. That's actually not good. Um, okay, so this is, this is good shit here. Uh, so plot, so I probably need to write that down now. So you can add to an existing plot, which is very nice. Very nice. Actually, we'll get rid of this, and we will call it T1358. Will be our fourth degree polynomial interpolation. Okay. Okay. And now we can do plot plot. First, we'll just plot what we have. I wonder if we can do plot plot even if there isn't an existing plot. This might break. Count. Oh, oh. Ah, so it, it basically just keeps going with the uh, the last. Um, so I, I really do need to kind of clear that out. <laughs> um, and plots plot. Um, this is count. 
1358 goes from minus 1 to 1. And that we do need an exclamation point on because we are adding to the existing plot. Okay. We need to get to this label, but I'm sure there's a way to do that. Pomodoro time. I will be back in two minutes and two seconds. we are almost back and another thing I'm going to say is I actually don't like statistics um, I think of it as sort of the astrology of mathematics okay let's see if we can do okay that's not too bad Okay, so this should give me both of them without any labels. Nice. That's a pretty tight fit. Not tight enough for our purposes, but, but a good approximation there. Now the question is, what if we were to use a very high degree polynomial? And I'm guessing the answer, by the way, is going to be that it's not really that much better of a fit. In fact, it might be a worse fit. Um, I can't watch videos on stream, but if you send me the link... Um, I can watch it either later or I can, you know, just watch it off stream. I'm a little bit uh, suspicious, but go ahead and send me the video link and I will look at it on my main machine. Now, where'd you send it? Did you send it as a whisper? I'm not seeing anything. Okay, let me... Um, where did you send it exactly? Um, okay. I'm gonna, let me check my DMs real quick. I just wanna see what it is. Um, oh crap. I, I hit the wrong button. I've got two DMs now. Um... Okay. Oh, okay, hang on, that one's... Let's see. World Star Hip Hop. Already not looking too good. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, excuse me. I work for Black Lives Matter. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm... I work for Black Lives Matter. I'm sorry that I scared you. But since I work for that company, my CEO has told me to come out today and to bring you on your knees because you have white privilege. So if they see that a white person is getting on their knees, that shows solidarity for, 
the situation, the situation, and. Okay, that that video was offensive. Um, I, I, I mean, I think that that's a very racist video. I'm not going to put the URL on stream. You might be able to put the URL on stream, uh, but um, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Um, I think it's a terrible video. I think it's just... Um, it's just uh, just awful. It's um, you know I, I try not to make the stream too political, but uh, it is an awful abuse of the situation uh, that occurred with George Floyd in um, in Minnesota. And I don't want to bring the stream down or anything, but uh, I've never had a rule against talking about politics, and I just think people doing that kind of thing um, is just terrible. I mean, that's just, it is insanely infuriating. Um, I guess I, I really shouldn't say too much about it because everyone who's watching the stream has no idea what we're talking about. Um, but it is very abusive video and um, I, I, that's all I'm going to say about it for right now. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll describe it briefly. Um, uh, a live streamer claiming to be from the corporation Black Lives Matter, which is not a corporation, by the way, um, said that uh, a woman should get on her knees, a white woman should get on her knees to show that uh, she is not racist. And that is a terrible, terrible abuse, potentially illegal because uh, Black Lives Matter is not a company. Um, but again, that might not be considered fraud. But again really, really uh, pushes the limits of free speech. It was voluntarily, so. Okay, so let's now move away from that quickly and do this. Oh, did I just add it to the previous one? Hang on. Not what I meant to do. Well, this is just, this is just the 10th degree polynomial. And this... is the original data. And unfortunately, god damn it. Wow. Okay. And here you can see that it's a very close fit, but we're not actually gaining much because tenth degree polynomial is, is harder to store than a uh, not a fourth degree polynomial. Um, so believe it or not, all of this was just to look at our data, but that's not what we're actually interested in. We're interested in the residuals, meaning the difference between the data and the approximation. Um, and we can do that, I think. Um, I'm going to use the 4th degree polynomial. I think this will actually, if this works, this will actually uh, apply the polynomial to each element of the... Um, of the list. Okay, it did that. Wow. Uh, I don't know why I'm surprised. I mean, it, that's what I expected. Um, I'm still on Google Hangouts. I'm pretty sure I used it as recently as yesterday. Um, it might be called Google Talk now, but it's the same thing. I mean, you could basically do audio. Uh, text conversations in it. Um, let's just plot this data now. Uh, actually, it's plot plot. So this should just actually just be a bunch of points. Okay, that a very nice. Uh, well, you know, um, I, I remember uh, uh, I remember America Online, but I even remember Quantum Link, which uh, preceded America Online. And I remember local uh, bulletin board systems and all that good stuff. So, no, 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 no. Oh, you know a group of people I can join. I get the feeling, based on your last link, that I'm not really crazy about your... S Go ahead and tell me, but if this is offensive, um, if, it, if, it, if you think it's offensive, don't send it to me. Um, if you think it's not offensive, send it to me, but it, I, I'm, I'm a little bit suspicious. 
So, uh, I'm not sure I care about people who, I mean, I don't mind debating with other people, certainly, but I don't know if I'm looking for people to debate with. Um, I get the feeling a lot of people are just mistaken about their views. They just have logical fallacies in their views. And, uh, you know, arguing on the internet, uh, I'm not convinced will actually, you can tell them what their fallacies are. You can tell them they're wrong. You explain why they're wrong and they don't care. Um, also nowadays, I think we're getting closer and closer. Um, I don't necessarily want to be saying that everything is debatable. Um, I, I get the feeling that there are now, I mean, it's always been true. There have been bad opinions that are just simply bad, not, not debatable. Um, but I think now we need to get really more serious about saying your opinion is unacceptable. It is not defensible. Um, oh, Maury Povich. I remember him. Um, again, I, that's not the kind of thing I'm looking for. Uh, and I think we really need to clamp down on people and say yeah, free speech exists and you, you have that, but you are not an acceptable person for having that opinion. We will not, you know, we will not interact with you for having that opinion. Uh, and I think we need to, I think we need to push that. It's always been our right to do that, but I think we need to push that a little bit more strongly and say, no, we're not, we're not going to agree to disagree anymore. You, you are just not going to be a part of my life to the extent possible if you have this terrible opinion. Okay, so this is the um, mapping and these are the actual values. So their subtraction should be the residuals, which we can, we can actually plot that if we want. We actually do want. Ooh, well these better be pretty damn small. Because uh, if they're not, then I've done something very wrong. Yeah, and these residuals you can see are pretty small. Um, And what we actually don't want, we don't need a plot of this. What we need is, first of all, we need the absolute values. Whoa. Hmm. Do I actually have to do a map? Ugh. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Um. And then what we want is the maximum of these, you know, the, the worst, the residual that has the worst uh, fit because that's our goal, is to, uh, so let's just plot that. Can I use percentage to mean? No, I cannot. Okay, and here we see that there's a sharp curve here because it's four steps of the value. And now all we need is, um, you cannot do calls from Google Hangouts anymore. Uh, there was a back door to it for a while that got shut down. Uh, you can still do, uh, there's like Google Voice, you can still do calls from there. It's a little bit different than Google Hangouts. Um, and I don't know, I, I, I have a very old Google account, so it's possible that uh, new Google accounts cannot get Google Talk. I do not, n yeah, free calls, free free in the US and Canada, you know, the free in the NANPA 1 uh, dialing code area. Um, so what we really want out of all this is, of course, the maximum. This is the number we fucking care about. If it existed. Um. Okay. That should be just a regular everyday array. And I should be able to take the fucking max of it. What the hell? Okay. Wow. Okay, where is max? Oh. Yeah, return the maximum of the arguments. Oh, 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 oh. 
Right, because it's it's actually so this would work. This won't work, but if I did this, it'd work. But that's fine because I think maximum does what I want. Ta-da! Okay. So we're getting there. So the next thing we need to do is, uh, since we cannot match, um, um, what is my third degree polynomial match? Do I have a third degree? I do not have a cubic one. Um, but let me do it with T. Actually, this is sort of a good comparison. Let's see what the tenth dimensional max is, and then we'll look at the uh, second dimensional max that we had earlier. So these should all be pretty nice. Um, okay, so remind ourselves with the fourth degree polynomial, we screwed that up. The fourth degree polynomial, we have this with the um, tenth degree polynomial. That is quite a bit smaller, actually. In fact, I think that might be within tolerable limits for uh, what we were looking at earlier, which was the um, the uh, 360 divided by 262144 divided by 2. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I didn't realize it was that good. Um, and then the um, second degree polynomial has quite a big error in it. Um, so one thing that's kind of problematic here is the declination, the ecliptic uh, latitude of Mars doesn't change a great deal, so we're able to nail it in a single tenth degree polynomial, and in fact we might be able to nail it in a single uh, lower degree polynomial, uh, which is fantastic for us, but bad for the fact that we want to look at potentially splitting up um, getting a function that potentially splits up, uh, you know, data. It, we're not looking for a single function to, um, to map, to, to match the data. So, we, how do we deal with that? First things first, we will again run our good friend this guy. Uh, ooh, choo, 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 got like three of these suckers going now. Um, Okay, there's got to be one that's not used. B0, B1 is root, B2 is this, let's do this. Um, or B3. Oh, that's the one I wanted. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're actually going to do something closer to what we actually want to do, which is for the whole century. Um, um, and now we've got to be careful here. Uh, if we break the century up into the same number of parts, we might do a few more parts, but roughly speaking. Uh, 525, close enough. Uh, that would be every 6,004 seconds. Um, let's do it hourly. Let's get a, get, get Mars's declination hourly um, for the entire century. So let's um, and that will hopefully show enough variation that we will have to split it up, which is our, actually our goal. Um, this is going to be about a million rows worth of data, which should, should be a fairly good test of, of Julia's capabilities. Um, we'll call this Mars Sent 1. I'm just kind of curious how long it's going to take, so I'll time... Whoa! Mmm, something's wrong. Um, did I, I mess something up here, didn't I? Yes, it'd be nice if the end and the start weren't exactly the same. That, that would screw it up. Okay, and I will once again... Now this time I'll actually allow the, the hangover to the first minute, the first hour of the next century. So now, let's do that and see how long it takes. It will take a while. Um, we are generating approximately uh, one million rows of data here. So while we do that, we will um, do nothing else. We will... Uh, oh, it is Pomodoro time, so I will be back in two and two while this runs.
and we are almost back. And we are back, and I think, yeah, good. Okay, no new messages in chat. And let's see. I do want to make sure I've got the right value. Okay. I'm going to try to be really clever here and say, do not show me the first three lines. That's not what I meant. I meant tail minus n plus three, actually. Mm, plus four. Fantastic. And this is actually going to be somewhat chunky data here. Uh, temp Mars sent two dot text. And this won't, well, that didn't take long at all. Okay, and so now what we're going to do is, um, and again, at some point I need to break this out into files and stuff. Um, I'm going to restart Julia for one thing. Um, and I will import all my lovely packages. And obviously the very exciting thing that's going to be here is going to be... Uh, I'm going to CSV read God, I hope that works. Okay, first of all, it shouldn't take that long to do the import, but okay. This is going to take a little bit of time. Unless I got the wrong file name. Okay. Um, that doesn't look nice. Why did it do that? Oh, shit. Crap. Apparently, I cannot take Mars's declination that far out. Uh, let's see what happens if I look at all the lines that don't have dots in them. Yeah, that's not good. Alright, so we kind of need to fuck that up a little bit. Um... Um... There should be a way to separate out. So if I do this, um, I should get the error messages spitting out. And I think the error message is uh, you cannot take the position of Mars with any degree of accuracy um, outside of a fairly small range. The, pro the problem is you can actually do this for the center of Mars, ID4, for any amount of time. Um, but not for uh, Mars itself. Let's let's bump this up a lot here. Okay. There we go. Apparently, this goes to standard out, but not standard error. Um. All right, so we have to now look at our lovely spice kernels. Um, actually, we can just look at the file called CMT. And this gives us Mars from, should be the 2100. Um... Should work. Am I including it? I must be including it. Let me check. Um, if I'm not including it, how the hell am I getting it? 
Maybe because the DE430 contains it. So let me... Uh, okay. God damn it. Okay, so what am I loading in here? Am I loading the standard one? Um, where do I load? Where do I load? Come on. There it is. Uh, max kernel, so I should definitely should have it now. Um, Mars? Whoa! Typo! Hang on. That can't be right. Is that really... I really fucked that up? No, it is Mar. It is Mar 097. Um... That is strange. What's kind of weird is the error message there was for, um, was for very close to the end of Unix time. So let's, let's be a little bit suspicious here. Um, so this is going to fail. Um, requiring to, oh! It's not complaining about Mars, it's complaining about ITRF. 93. Uh, okay, and that, that, that is a problem. Uh, ITRF 93 is not defined that far in the future. There should be a, um, a replacement for it that goes further. Um, I, I mean, it's going to be really embarrassing if it turns out that I include that kernel in my standard in my standard uh, loading, but not in this one. Okay. Um, so this is the predictions through um, through two thousand thirty seven. Oh shit. Fuck. Is it the case that I really cannot get uh, a decent estimate of um, Eclipse J2000? That doesn't seem right. Um, Eclipse J2000, I'm pretty sure, is something they define, not something I define. Uh, that, that, this will be kind of ugly if this is true. Um, no, Eclipse J2000 is what I want. Um, I probably should have done that, and I probably should have done that. Okay, and I'm pretty sure I see where this is going. Okay, clip J2000. Uh, that's just for a satellite. Okay, so this is the message in which... Still there? Okay. Um, this is the message in which they define the Eclipse J2000 frame. Uh, unfortunately... Okay, that's not where they define it. Um, this is bullshit. Okay. Okay, let's bring up another window. Let's bring up as many windows as possible because I'm annoyed. Um, okay. Um, wait, is it really only listed? That doesn't make sense. Um, actually, I probably should be looking at, let's see what the error message was. Uh, let's run it again, get the error message again. 
PCK data. So let's take a look at the PCK datas. Really? That is not correct. Okay, so I'm using PCK0010. Um, okay, that should not be a problem. Okay. I guess the only thing that I'm kind of seeing here is that I don't necessarily need to be using IR ITRF93. problem is that, that might actually be how Eclipse J2000 is, is measured. Well, fudge. Again, I probably should have done a minus L and a pipe to less. Okay. So I mean, um, and the problem is, I'm pretty sure that Eclipse Date 2000 is based on this frame. So unfortunately, um, I can't just ignore it. I mean, I could try. Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh. Okay. So I can use IAU Earth. Um, and it should use ITRF 93 when possible, but IAU Earth for longer term works. That, that should be doable. Um. All right, that, that's probably okay. All right, so let's see if we can find the IAU Earth kernel. Grep Earth. Um, this is... I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, that is from the first of this year to the year... Oh, that's that's actually a very uh, kernel that I actually downloaded probably on the... Uh, in the year 2015. Earth, ASOC, ITRTF. I definitely do have the IAU Earth. Uh, TF file. All right, which one of you monkeys defines IAU Earth? Oh. So we have that one. So the problem might be that the Eclipse J2000 frame should be using IAU Earth when it cannot use um, ITRF 93. Uh, which is freaking ugly. It should be possible, but it's just going to be ugly. Oh, here we are. Um. Is it a BPC? Oh, that shouldn't be. Cr that's not. Cr okay, no. Okay. So let's look at all the files that are not kernels. Not that many of them, actually. And let's get Eclipse J2000. 
J2000, but I think that may be a built-in frame now that I think about it. Um... Apparently, I still had a very large file left. Uh, which was... LNMX... That cannot be a 431 file. I'm kind of curious to see what the hell it is. Oh my god. This is the data they use to generate the, uh, the ephemerides. Okay, I think I'm babbling even more incoherently than normal. Uh, thank you everyone for watching the stream, and goodbye for now. And I will save it this time.